Excuse me, the dog. Alright, guys. It is another yuck, miserable, depressing night here in the end times. That's the log. It is. In the Lord, what is, it is a Tuesday night, December 6, 2022. And uh, so before I get into my rant, I just want to, uh, I mean, all joking aside, I do want to congratulate my, uh, my, my dear friend uh, Reagan Parenton uh, for his 1,000th subscriber. And uh, <laughs> here is his 1,000th subscriber, Sancho Panza is Reagan Parenton's 1,000th subscriber. How does it feel to put that young man on the map so I guess he can monetize his channel now? I'm sure he will be raking in. So uh, I guess that little eco-pussy Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles was Reagan's uh, 999th. So, but Sancho Panza getting the honors, I don't know why it didn't take when I tried to sub. Maybe I'm already subbed. But anyway, uh, Reagan also, uh, he tells me he wants to send out a big thank you to all of my, uh, all of my subscribers who, you know, have heard about his fine channel uh, through me. I don't know how many uh, subs that Reagan has gotten off of me uh, the past few days. But I'm glad to do it. And uh, so please go over to Reagan Parenton's channel and sub and be sure you look at his celebratory, his celebratory 1,000th subscriber video. It is, it is one of his better ones, but I'm, don't worry, I'm, I'm getting bored of the, of the Reagan Parenton stuff. But anyway, we're going to leave that, uh, subject behind and for the second time this week I think I am going to uh, have to read this uh, dispatch over here at medium.com from this fellow named Harry Seitz S-E-I-T-Z uh, I've had people request more Harry Seitz now I am disappointed to report that Harry, and I don't think he's joking, I don't think he's being ironic, but you never can tell here in the Doomosphere uh, when people are being ironic uh, in their videos or not, uh, but apparently this dude is a major, major supporter of nuclear power. I mean, we're talking a frothing at the mouth a uh, supporter of nuclear power to say that he honestly believes that uh, he's not a fan so much of the, uh, of the green revolution. Uh, he thinks nuclear power is going to save the planet, but we all have blind spots. Uh, and maybe my blind spot is I don't get the joke. But anyway... I'm not going to hold that against him, I guess, and uh, we're going to hear from uh, Harry in this sweet little dispatch called Let's Get It Over With. Take it away, Harry. <clears throat> For too long, I have done my futile little part to live more sustainably. I climb the stairs instead of taking the elevator. I only shower once a week during the winter. During the winter, I was always a slob anyway, and I have not owned a car in over 20 years. Good for you, brother. I ride my bicycle like a child when I can and take the odious subway when I can't. In short, I was a dirty cheapskate who went the extra flight of stairs to live a less wasteful life. Alone, I knew this would not make a difference, but maybe if a few hundred million people followed my example, we might make a dent. Never mind 
that it is impossible for me to get anyone to do anything unless I pay her. I'm going to eat slightly less meat and change the entire fucking world. What a deluded fool I have been. My new goal is to set the ocean on fire. It's going to require a lot of gasoline, but maybe I can get Kickstarter to help me if I phrase it the right way, like as an experiment on the effects of heat on marine life. Also, I am buying a stretch Hummer. I'll have to double park it everywhere in New York City, but you know what? Fuck everyone. I'm going to buy a paint shaker. I'm not sure what a paint shaker is. I guess, yeah, anyway. I'm going to buy a paint shaker to do fake sprints on the fitness app on my phone. And enough of this use it until it falls apart bullshit. Twelve new phones are coming my way tomorrow. <coughs> I don't even have a family. But those family plans are just too good to resist. And what fun I could have with twelve brand new phones. <coughs> I could give a few to my cute neighbors to make it easier to harass them. <coughs> and my cat definitely needs one. How could, I, how could I have deprived my cat of the joys of pornography for so long? I work from home, but I'm going to commute anyway. If I have a stretch Hummer, I've got to use it for something. And from now on, every meal is going to include a large slab of meat preferably black rhino or mountain gorilla or any other endangered animal. <clears throat> Just because I don't like showering doesn't mean I can't run the water and transitioning to an all-endangered animal diet, I'll be on the toilet a lot. I wouldn't be able to climb the stairs without shitting myself even if I wanted to, so I'm taking the elevator from now on. Even if I only have to go up one floor to grab my mail, then back down to the basement to continue doing my laundry, which I plan to do at least three times a day, I'm taking the elevator. This will take longer than walking, but I might as well also waste time while I'm at it. My few bits of furniture are from the curb, which was cheap and kept my tiny apartment relatively spacious, but it's time for an upgrade. Instead of the small fold-out futon, I'm thinking a jacuzzi. Instead of the simple bed I inherited from a dead neighbor, I'm going to buy one of those enormous beds with shelves, couches, and motorized easy chairs built right into it. It'll be a tight squeeze, so it might be time for a bigger apartment. It's time to stop thinking about the environment and start worrying more about being a good consumer. We each have to do our part to keep the economy staggering along. So go out and treat yourself to a new Range Rover because you deserve it. And don't forget to smash the donate button. Gasoline is not as cheap as it used to be and I won't be able to set the ocean on fire on my own. But with your help, I have absolutely no doubt that we can do it. You go, Harry. And, uh, <laughs> you know, most of the people uh, just agreed with him. Uh, might as well at this point. Uh, anyway, 
it's always hairy sights. Uh, <laughs> it's always hairy sights luck on getting nuclear power to save the planet. Anyway, we're so fucked, but I have got to go track down a margarita and figure out what I'm going to watch on Netflix tonight. Bye, guys.